To purchase the materials, including eggs, vinegar, gloves, masks, and a transparent container, we headed to one of the closest grocery stores. While purchasing, we ensure that the items are of best quality and are the condiments available for kitchen use. Materials needed Eggshells Vinegar Surgical gloves 500 ml beaker Tablespoon Large empty container Clean cloth or filter paper and mortar and pistol. Clean the eggshells. Cleaning each eggshell carefully in order to get rid of any undesirable dirt is the first step in the procedure. Make sure that only the shell was left by removing everything, even the thin layer or the air cell and shell membrane. Let the shells dry after giving them a good rinse. Make sure that the shells are arranged upside down and organized for better drying. Afterwards, the shells are left to dry. Meanwhile, to ensure the safety of the students, they wear their face mask eyewear, and gloves. Crush the eggshells into powder. The eggshells took 30 minutes to completely dry out. Then, by utilizing a mortar and pestle, the eggshells are crushed in the second stage. To ensure easy crushing, Make sure the shells are incredibly dry. We made the decision to thoroughly ground it so that it would dissolve more readily in vinegar. To ensure the better quality, the eggshells are wiped out by their excess liquids and then thoroughly crushed by using the pestle and then the eggshells are then transferred into an empty bowl. Carefully crush the shells until pulverized and remove any excess membrane and dirt. We just need 37 grams 
or two and a half tablespoons of pulverized eggshell for the experiment. After everything has been crushed, transfer it to the clean bowl or container. The next procedure is preparing the vinegar by using a beaker and an empty container. After measuring, transfer the vinegar into an empty container. Mix the pulverized eggshells and vinegar. 37 grams or 2.5 tablespoon of pulverized eggshells and 500 milliliter of vinegar with 4.5% natural acidity were combined in a sizable transparent container. We measured the vinegar in a 500 ml beaker to guarantee the accurate measurements. However, as we lacked a scale to weigh the powdered eggshells, we just used the one we had on hand, a tablespoon. Then, the mixture is thoroughly mixed to ensure the uniformity of the mixture. In this experiment, we can see that when the vinegar and powdered eggshells are combined in a container, they react and produce bubbles. The crushed eggshell should be added gradually to a small container if one is being used in order to prevent spillage when the bubble emerges. Stir it once every 5 minutes or until all eggshells have sunk. If there is isn't filter paper, it can be filtered using a clean cloth if you observed that it doesn't bubble much when mixed and the vinegar's color has changed from the original. At this point, thoroughly stir everything until the mixture is stabilized. As you can see, the bubbles are formed in a foam-like appearance as a result of the reactions of the vinegar and the pulverized eggshells. Stir them thoroughly. Then, the process took 25 minutes and 37 seconds and afterwards the vinegar and eggshell mixture is then filtered out using a clean cloth and transferred into another container. It is typical for some crushed eggshells to not completely dissolve in vinegar and many will still be present after filtering. 
Just the liquid combination should remain in the container after a thorough filtering. To check if the vinegar measurement hasn't changed, we transfer the eggshell vinegar mixture into the 500 ml beaker. Sadly, it only managed to fill up the approximately 475 ml rather than the intended 500 milliliter. Gradually filter out the mixture to surely extract the liquids from it. For the remaining mixture, you may squeeze it out to get the liquids. Bring the mixtures to boil. Pour the mixture in a pot and boil it over low heat. Avoid being close to the pot while it is boiling since it releases a potent odor, carbon dioxide, that is harmful to your health. When approaching it, don't forget to put in a heavy mask and gloves. Before boiling, maintain the low heat to ensure the right amount of temperature. To keep it from burning, stir it every now and then. Stir it gradually and thoroughly. Just be safe because of the potent odor that is being released during the boiling of mixture that is very harmful to our health. When heat is present, the vinegar and eggshell mixture transforms into calcium acetate. The white powder or calcium acetate is the sole thing that remains after all the liquids have evaporated. Avoid inhales too near to the nose. Instead, waft or fan them in the direction of your nose with one hand. Never put your face over the container to breathe in the fumes or, more importantly, to consume any chemicals.
When the product has finished boiling, use a spoon and a clean bowl to remove the calcium acetate from the pot. Use only the white powder and avoid the burned portion. Set away the pot you just used or better yet, quickly wash it to avoid contact with other kitchen tools. Carefully scrape the mixture or the powder from the pot and pour it into a clean bowl. Lastly, the product was let to set and after 24 hours, it solidified or hardened enabling us to powder it down and contain it for safekeeping. After our experiment, we cleaned the used equipments such as the beaker, transparent containers, and other items to get rid of the calcium acetate smell before putting everything away and thoroughly drying it. We also made sure to clean down the chairs and tables that were in use before disinfecting them with alcohol to get rid of any odors that can be harmful to our health. Once everything has been completed, we thoroughly wash our hands with soap and water before sanitizing with alcohol. Music